Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're taking a look at how to use light leaks in Premiere Pro. And hey, if you're not familiar with us, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, tutorials, plugins, audio, and more. In fact, we have tons of free Premiere Pro templates ready to download. I put a link in the description down below, so make sure to hop over and grab some free stuff. So maybe you've downloaded some light leak footage and you're wondering how you can get the most out of it in your next video project. Well, if that's you, you're in the right place because I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite methods to maximizing your light leaks inside of Premiere Pro. But in case you're looking for more about how to create your own light leaks in camera, we actually already did a video on that. It's this one here and I'll link to it in the description below. But with that out of the way, let's dive into Premiere Pro and take a look at how to get the most out of your light leaks. So here we are in Premiere Pro. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just drag and drop our light leaks into our project manager. What can really help is if we have a folder with these light leaks already inside. Just drag and drop the folder instead and all of your light leaks are put into their own unique folder in Premiere as well. Okay, so let's choose our favorite one here. I like this one. And let's drag and drop it over top of our footage. Right off the bat, you should notice that your light leaks don't show the footage that's underneath them. But that's okay, because getting that figured out is really simple. Just highlight your light leak footage, go to Effect Controls, and then go down to Blend Mode. You can really select any blend mode that you want depending on the style that you're going for. But there's three main ones that'll give you the basic look. Lighten, Screen, and Linear Dodge Add. But if you're wanting to get the super traditional light leak look, you're going to want to choose screen. Now that that's done, you should see that your light leaks look pretty much like you'd expect. The last piece here is that, at this point, they might be a little too intense for what you're going for. To make them appear a little bit more subtle, you can just drop the opacity of your light leak footage. And your effect will become less intense. Nice! Now you can either shorten or lengthen them, and then position them to be present for as long as you need. If you can't lengthen your light leak clips to the point that you want, you can simply duplicate your light leak layers by holding Alt or Option and dragging to create a duplicate copy. Do this for as many as you need until you fill out the desired length of time. Great! Now that you've actually gotten your light leaks to do what they're actually supposed to do, it's time to see how we can manipulate them and get the most out of them. There's a few different ways that you can change them up that you might not have expected. First, you can actually scale them up and move them around if you want to focus in on a particular section. Or if you just want to experiment a little bit. Don't go insane with the scaling, but you also don't have to worry nearly as much about quality dropping when you scale up light leaks as much as other kinds of footage. Once you've gotten the actual appearance and movement the way that you like, you can actually change up a bunch of the visual characteristics with Lumetri Color. Changing particular elements of the exposure, curves, etc. can really give you a full control over how your light leaks look. But maybe the most commonly used part of this is the white balance and tint sections. With these, you can actually push the color of the light leaks to be warmer, colder, more green, or more purple, or any of those combinations. I personally like to give a bit of a warmer tone to the light leaks, as usually when I'm using them, I'm going for that particular look. But really, any aesthetic choice is totally up to you. You can also use the other color changing tools within Lumetri Color to achieve this effect. But if you're wanting a little bit more range with the color of your light leaks, you can also use the Color Balance HLS effect to get a full spectrum of the available color to change your light leaks as well. As long as there's some color in there to begin with, and not just straight up white, you'll be able to get virtually any color. This can really help if you want to create color palette consistency within your project. Just keep in mind that pushing this effect too far will potentially cause it to fall apart. And guys, those are just a few tips to help you get the most out of your light leaks in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are looking for light leak footage to download, we actually have a bunch here at MotionArray.com. We've also got some free ones, and I'll link to all of those different options in the description below. But guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.